What's up everybody? This is Jesko from AcousticsInsider.com where I teach home studio acoustic treatment techniques for audio professionals but without all the voodoo. I am not in my studio obviously today. Testing. I am at Head Audio Headquarters. This is the company that produces the lovely Type 20 speakers that you have seen in my studio as well. And after I bought the speakers, the boss of the company, Freddie, actually reached out to me and asked me if I was up for doing a collaboration. And we kind of went back and forth and looked at what that might look like and what makes sense. And we came to an agreement. So for the next few videos, I'm going to be shooting here and around the company. Look at all this stuff, all so much space. To show you some stuff that I just wouldn't be able to show you anywhere else. Definitely not in my studio. Also some just some things that I can't really do on my own. Now I have a film production crew in the form of my friend Felix behind the camera. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be sh showing you all sorts of stuff revolving around speakers in general. And then obviously showing you how the head speakers in particular can demonstrate certain, certain concepts, certain uh, ideas, certain implementations revolving around speakers. So obviously this is a collaboration for the support that HEAD is giving me in order to show you all this amazing stuff. I'm giving them something in return. Hopefully I can convince you, if you're in the market for a new speaker, to consider HEAD speakers. If you do decide to get some for yourself, there's a link in the description that's an affiliate link. I'll be completely open and, open and honest about that. Um, but you'll basically support me and you'll support Head Audio by buying your speakers through that link. Hopefully I can convince some of you through the series, through these videos that we're going to be shooting here, that this is the right speaker for you. I definitely love them. I've been using them for about the past half year. This is the first three-way system that I've been using. And it's been absolutely phenomenal. It really challenged me to rethink, refeel how I in, get in, how I engage with the music. It's quite incredible, really. At the very beginning, I have to say, I was definitely challenged um, because they sounded so much crisper, so much tighter. So there was so much more clarity in how the soundstage was presented to me that I really had to relearn how to position things in the mix. But now that I've done that, and now that I'm kind of in the process of relearning that, it's been absolutely phenomenal. They're really, really lovely speakers. The, um, the Phantom Center, the soundstage around that sounds absolutely amazing. So a couple of things that we're going to be talking about that is very particular to the speaker and gives us an ability to kind of get an insight into what that topic is all about. First of all, closed versus ported speaker cabinets. What's that all about? And which one should you get? How does it impact your ability to work in your home studio? We're going to be talking about phase linearization or impulse response correction. Because basically with these speakers built from basically a multitude of drivers, a tweeter, a mid-range and a, and, a, and a woofer, sometimes a four-way speaker, but even with two-way speakers, the sound doesn't come out of the speaker at the same time. That's what the phase measurement or the phase diagram, if you will, shows us how the different frequencies relate to each other in terms of when they leave the speaker. But what we can do with modern technology, DSP, is we can synchronize or we can even out that response so that all the frequencies, all the energy leaves the speakers at the same time. Head Audio has implemented that in a really beautiful way with their linearizer, which first came in plug-in form, but with the MK2 upgrade to their speaker series is now built in and super easily accessible. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to look at what that actually looks like in measurements. We're going to be talking about what that sounds like, but it doesn't stop there. We're going to be talking subwoofers. We're going to be talking subwoofer integration. We're going to be talking how to set up filters for subwoofer and tops in combination. How do you do that in a way that it is uh, phase coherent, that the phase matches between the two speakers and in particular with, again, head audio speakers with their linearizer technology, you can get a, uh, an impulse response across the entire system 
that is perfectly accurate. So phase accurate from the lowest frequency through the subs all the way to the tops. Right? So that's just a selection of things that we're going to be talking about. I just wanted to introduce you to this new series that we're going to be doing with head audio. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Lovely type 20 here. I'm going to cuddle it a bit because it is pretty.